as you have seen in the previous video we have retrieved this motor from this hard disk uh, now we will uh, connect the wires to this motor uh, so that we can run it here uh, I will we will uh, place the wire in all the four terminals it can be connected randomly so just connect for the all the four wires I'm going to use this 12 volt transformer to power this motor as it's a uh, AC, AC motor uh, oh shit It was disaster. Uh, uh, here I have this another transformer uh, of the same rating. Now we will see the output of this uh, transformer. Now well, we needed to put it in the AC AC knob. Well, it's around 12 volt. Now let's connect the wires uh, into this motor. It can be in place anywhere. It, it works with uh, any of the terminals. It's a really powerful motor and the only disadvantage of this motor is it's not a selfie start. You have to give an initial uh, uh, initial spin to make it work uh, here you can see it's uh, spinning I uh, have put a mark so that you can observe the rotation well uh, here you can see it's well it's uh, really a powerful motor I will make something out of this motor soon oh uh, uh, you can see the spins with the really high uh, RPM well and thanks for watching see you in the next video with even better ideas thank you uh, hello everyone my name is Roman Sintagorov I am world group leader at Kochato Centers Orientation Source in Moscow uh, working at uh, X-ray structure analysis beamline uh, with power diffraction and ensure to subscribe to this channel. It takes science.